you're trying to publish um, uh, or air on a radio program something and you have sponsors, it's very difficult because mm -hmm. the firewall is not there. Ms. had as strong a firewall as you could have. But, for example, um, we did a cover story on battery years ago. Uh, and advertisers were always very careful as to where their ads were placed. And when they learned that we were doing a story on battery, the liquor manufacturers pulled all their ads out of that issue. Hmm. They made the connection between drunkenness and beating up on women. Really? Yeah. Um, and there is a correlation. Right. When I interviewed the, the four Soviet dissident women who had done samizdats on feminism, and they had been forced out of the country in forcible um, exile. And I flew to Vienna to interview them, and we put them on the cover. And there were these great young faces, no makeup, very sort of fresh scrubbed faces and standing there. In the and Revlon was so upset that there were women without any makeup on the cover of Ms. They pulled all their ads for about, I think, almost a year. You're kidding. No. Yeah, yeah. The, well, one the of the worst was, and they're still not very good, it was Procter & Gamble. Hmm. Um, Procter & Gamble would not have an ad appear in any issue of Ms. in which the following words were mentioned. Um, lesbian, abortion, contraceptive, and witch. 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 <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's it's very cynical, um, and the use of of um, of women or or so-called women's issues, because all issues are women's issues. But but the use of feminism um, for commercial purposes, mm -hmm. and other times it's it's genuine. And and if it's a company that really is genuine, for example, Walmart um, is the opposite. Walmart talks a very good line. They have lots of commercials about how they promote people. <clears throat> and they're, now I'm a floor supervisor and I was sent to school and it, uh, Walmart did this and Sam's Club did this, whatever. But there are class action suits going on um, in pretty much every state in this country of women who have been badly treated by Walmart, have been discriminated against in hiring, in promotion, in firing, um, and so who've, been, who've endured a lot of sexual harassment. So. You look at that and, you know, it doesn't cut it. Mm. Um, so you really have to do, do your, your research <laughs> and really look you a do. lot more deeply than what's just reported. Well, but there are a lot of places now that can help with that. Mm. Catalyst, um, which has a website uh, and which monitors the corporate world and women's position in the corporate world, is very useful. Uh, and the Women's Media Center covers this sort of thing, uh, and particularly in media, but not exclusively. So that's womensmediacenter.com, and Catalyst is catalyst.com. And if you go to feminist.com, um, you will find a sort of hub, and you can look up women in business, women in corporations, women in arts, and whatever, and find a portal there which will in turn list lots and lots and lots of sources. Mm. So it's not as though the sources don't exist anymore to help with the research.